Hello, and welcome back to Vandal Hearts. I might not be in the best of spirits because I just recorded some Mark of Cree that ended up dying. I thought I recorded it just fine, everything went fine, but then when I switched over to record this, it was like, cannot record audio, and it didn't actually start the recording because I couldn't, it wasn't any picking up any audio, and I'm like, I can hear audio just fine. And I restarted the game, still didn't do, I had ended up having to restart my computer entirely, and the Mark of Cree video had no audio whatsoever. So it kind of annoyed me, just a little bit. But when we last left off, not with the bad, grumpy stuff, when we last left off, we're in a very bad situation, just like I just was. Where it's just the four of us against all of this. And the secrets are here, and over here. And I don't remember which, but one of the two actually has the next Nova key. So it is entirely important to collect these. Like, more important than it even has been normally. Now, there is a warlock over there, is there one over here? Yes, there is one in either corner. So I'd say walking over here would probably be the best bet. I think maybe if you move here, you'll be able to shoot him. Actually... Uh... Would you be able to shoot up? If I moved you here, you could, and that would, in theory, one-shot it. Or it would absolutely suck. Whichever. Don't suppose you could try and support it now. No, you can just shoot at that guy. Aren't archers supposed to be really good against flying stuff? I mean, I know you're a little rusty, Amon, but jeesh. Well, on the bright side, we do have phase shift, so that should help. Ah, uh, of course, the one spot that you could move to collect everybody in it. No, not Roman fire. Phase shift. Well, I'd rather do that to... Forgo getting one of the bats, but also get one of the armored guards instead. Whoa! Ha, ha, I'm done. Freaky. And whatnot. You're nearly dead. You would be dead. Oh, you would. You should be dead. It just occurred to me I'd have put them. All of them there, and then I just put Clint in a corner. Alright, how, how screwed are we? You are going to throw at Darius. Who is going to die this turn because that basically critical hit. I, yes, I know there isn't such a thing as critical hits in this game, but still, he is instantly down. You know, kind of time I'll forget this. But on the bright side, the warlocks have to move to try and get for get close enough to us. Now you should die after the attack. Aha! Take that, Raphael. There you go. Other guy, however, won't die. He will just move close enough, but good thing... Ow. Good thing is that... Well, depending on where people move, I might just do another phase shift, actually, because the jugger other juggernauts are moving closer. You're moving closer. Everybody else on the roof doesn't seem to be moving, though. Okay, you move to heal him. That's fine. Fully heal him, because reasons, but you know. I slay them all. 
Lord Dumas, the rebels! Speak up. Ugh. Hey! We're taking over this prison. Lay down your arms or die. I can't believe it, it's Ash. Hold on, Clint, we're coming. Impudent wealth, you beg to die. And now we have everybody else with us. Honestly, I was thinking I could maybe do this myself, although how I get them out of the center, I don't know. I, sp I suppose it makes sense, because they couldn't actually get out of the center. And if it was just Clint who was left, there would be physically no way to actually kill them. But, you know, that's beside the point. Alright. Slowy McSlow. Push. And then move as much as you can, but also move to the side for the speedier people to move forward. You, action, magic, uh... Let's put defense up on Ash. May as well. I'm here. He's probably going to get surrounded by two people. So. Most importantly, Zoha. You do realize, Diego, that you can fly, right? Like, you you should, in theory, be able to fly over the lip on the wall. I'm just saying. You're kind of bottlenecked, which is a problem. Action, magic. Hey, shift, shift, shift. Move forward a space. And phase shift. Now this should do some damage. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. You're dead. You're also dead. And you're nearly dead. Wonder if I can shoot the deacon. I think I might be able to move him on to shoot the deacon. Yes, I would like the deacon dead. Or you can put him within an inch of his life, or rather two inches, but you know, semantics. You just go to the back of him on, because I feel like just protecting him from getting utterly destroyed would be helpful. You are throwing it at Amon. That hurt. I think Amon might actually die next turn because I think the Warlock will be able to get close enough to attack him. Ha! Take that. Or the other Grenadier will just be able to throw at him anyway. But yeah, I think that Warlock will be able to get close enough to cast a spell on him. Yep. Well, Poopy. Ow. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. You were pretty helpful, actually. Now, all that's left is Clint. And... The lady. I forget. Eh, Eleni. I almost forgot her name. I remembered in the end. Don't judge me. Hey, that wasn't supposed to happen. You weren't supposed to block, you were just you were supposed to fall over. I mean you not falling over I understand. Right, and you step back to heal. Unfortunately, but you know. That deacon will step forward to hear one of the bats. And Dumas is still just up there. Eleni, move over here-ish. And 
you can't do what I want you to, so instead just roam and fire them. Pretty much just beat them up so they're distracted and injured and whatnot. Meanwhile, Clint will begin to flee over here. Because I th think this button might open that because it looks like a gate. And then Clint can go collect that. By the way, if I press the select start triangle, no, what is it again? Oh yes, battle can it battle condition. If Clint dies, not Ash, so if Clint dies, we actually lose. Well, that's one out of the way. Yay, that was a level two. It's always nice. And then, Dolan, crush. Dolan smash. And you should be able to poke him pretty well. Pretty well indeed. He injure you, but he can't injure you enough. And I think Zohar will be able to just finish him off with a Dark Star. In theory. In practice, I have no clue. practice, no, he couldn't, because he sucks. Let's start moving everybody. By the way, how far can you move? You could move where Grog was, of course. And move. Alright, how screwed are we? I'm guessing we're pretty screwed. I'm guessing Eleni is probably going to go down. But... That was honestly the point of ha having her go over there to distract the enemy over there into attacking her some more. Clint, however, getting beat up is not good. There's no bueno. You're going to walk on the bridge and attack him. You're going to really beat him the hell up. He's nearly down. Ow. It's gonna be another another rainbow stroke. More owl. And all of the bats are starting to move forward. And that guy, I don't know what he's doing. That guy is going to heal the ranged guy, who is two hit points away because Zohar is dumb. And Dumas just stands there. Just stands there watching the battle. Alright, um, Clint, could you, like... Actually, let me see. Action, magic, healing. Okay, if you stand there, you can get healed. Action, magic, healing. Plus, in that position, that guy can't actually hit him anymore. That was an unsatisfying heal. Alright, Zohar. Get over here. Action, magic, face shift. Uh, would face shift be worth it? Action, magic, or could you hit them all with Roman fire? You can hit them all with Roman fire. Roman fire costs less mana. So, do that. One bat gone. Now, could you kindly kill the range guy so that way we can guarantee that Clint is safe? Thank you. And a level up. That's nice. Now, Grog. Uh, no, not push, examine. That was actually a poor plan, because now that guy can go down and hit Clint. 
That was a very poor plan. As you can move pretty far, I want you to examine. Ooh, gold coins. Basically a loot item. And lastly, ash. And ash. Ah, uh, you're not the focus, so I'll just have you save your mana for now. Until you're more injured. I forgot to use Eleni. I legitimately forgot to use Eleni because I just kind of had her in the middle of a fuck nowhere. How? <laughs> Moving that down when Clint was so injured was a very poor plan. And Eleni's gone. As I expected her to be. You're dead, so it don't matter. And another deacon to heal that loser. And that's it. Oh, wait, no. There's another deacon, but he didn't do anything. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do Action Magic Heal. Okay. I'm going to move you all the way over here. Action item herb. And hide you over there. I was going to say have Sarah heal you as well, but the hell, you don't need it. Actually, if you go here, action, magic, healing, circle. Ah, that won't hit. But if you move here, action, magic, healing, circle, you'll heal Ash, who is already injured. So why not? That looks like it reaches so much farther than it actually does. Heals a lot. Heals for a lot, though. I don't think your standard heal would even heal for 80 damage. Action magic. Do you have any magic that can hit them? Yes, you do. Okay. Rolling fire. Rolling fire was very anticlimactic. Zohara move over here and throw another Roman fire in their direction. Now the Deacon will probably heal the bat, but then I can kill both it and the bat next turn. You can still throw your thing at Clint. It's fine. You moved in the perfect direction for Clint to get a hit on you and then someone else to attack you. Or someone else to heal him. Ow, 41 damage. Can the deep. Well, the. The heal is at range, but no, the deacon's gonna heal himself now because there was, um, you know, the bat went first. That's fine. The only problem is that the warlocks have got us, uh, kind of in a choke point over there, really. Alright, now, here's the deal you move forward and punch him in the face. 
Is he dead yet? No. Are you pretty injured? Yes. But... You will also get another heal. Like so. And now it's like you didn't even get hit. And that leveled it up, leveled Huxley up. So that's good. Now, move forward. I think if there was ever a time to phase shift, it would be right about now. Perhaps, maybe. Can a Roman fire hit all of them? No. So, phase shift it is. That will injure all of them, and it should be just an easy cleanup afterwards. In theory. In practice, I have no clue. Alright, Ash, you have magic. Sarah, you have a heal. And since Healing Circle healed him so much, do it again. No, you don't need to heal. He does. Yeah, Healing Circle heals for so much more. Now you'd think that I'd attack, right? Wrong. Rolling Fire to hit all three of them, and also possibly kill the guy in the back. Guy in back is dead. Both of the warlocks are pretty burned. However, I don't think Grog will. No, Grog definitely cannot. But that'll keep the deacons occupied with healing them, and unless they move too far back, which I don't think they will, otherwise they won't be able to attack us, that'll be fine. Yeah, you're going to walk away and throw your thing at him again. But you know what? Oh, they're attacking Grog for some reason. Not that they'll be able to kill Grog. Grog will get fairly injured, but they won't kill him. That's what healing circles and herbs will be for. Yep, the deacons are healing the warlocks. Oh well. Yeah, that deacon is actually injured, so that's something. And Dumas does not move, because he is a Dumas. And lastly, action. Magic, one more cure. Like so, and then you'll move to his side, so that way he's less likely to dodge. How would they even block, anyway? They have a bomb. Would they literally block with the side of the bomb? Uh, question. Can, no, Dolan can't. But you can. Wow, bro. Just. Really, buddy? I expected that you'd be able to one shot him, okay? And I was sorely disappointed in you. Grog got killed by a counterattack from a mage. That's just embarrassing. Zohar cleans up his mess the best he can. Now Ash can move over here and now actually attack him. All that's left are the two deacons. Which I'm afraid means that Dumas might actually move. And you 
of course, can't fly. Come on, there isn't even a lip blocking you this time. You're just being lazy. Alright, that deacon will heal the other deacon, and God knows what the other deacon will do. I don't think deacons actually ever attack, ever. Yep, Dumas is now moving forward because everybody who has attack abilities... Oh my Jesus Christ! I'm sorry, did he just do... He just did how much damage again? The worst part is... I need to not hit him for like two more turns. in order to uh, get that key down there. You can't even throw it. Everybody just step it back. Step it as far back as you possibly can. Actually, action, magic, uh, spellbind. Will spellbind work on Dumas? If not, you're dead. I'm sorry. Miss, of course. Oh, Zohar, it was nice knowing you. This is going to be incredibly difficult because I've actually had, you know, I didn't ex like I said, I didn't expect Grog to die. Like, I was kind of hoping to have the other melee, but now I don't. Zohar is dead. I know that for a dang fact. He doesn't have the health to hold up an attack that did like 114 damage or some insane crap like that. Black robe against black robe, except one has a staff, one has a giant. Cl oh my god, you just. You blocked? Really? You managed to block? That was a shock. Alright, one more turn, and it should be good. Action, magic, spellbind. Come on, you can do this. No. He is just immune to spellbind. Action, magic. That's right, you don't actually have the ability to do that. Sarah, however, has a mage gem for you. that well you can. It occurs to me that this might actually force the deacons to heal him, in which case I'm actually going to hold off. and just start bringing everybody up here. Basically what's gonna happen is gonna be Dolan on one end, Ash on the other, and we're basically just gonna close in on it. You know, once Zohar moves away. Oh, they're healing anyway, so it wouldn't matter if I cast that or not. It's really annoying because he's actually, like, yeah, we're holding him off at a choke point, but we're also, he's also blocking us from going to attack him. You only did that little damage to Zohar? How'd you do 114 to Ash, but you do like 64 to Zohar? And examine. Yay, the mana key. That means Clint can slowly start walking up. 
whereas you walk away. And you stand there and just be done. You go to Zohar and heal him a little bit. Six, 16? Was he like immune to the everything? Seven. Really? Does he only heal a percentage of health? I'm confused now. I'm incredibly confused. Mr. Deacon, you just got yourself killed. Rather, Dumas just get himself killed. Because I could do this. And then you counterattacked, but that's fine. Because then, I could do this. Or that's not done, are you? You're not done, are you? Well, then I can do this! And that's it. Crack! Crack to you two. Hey, I got the Zen robe. I have no clue what that is. It doesn't matter that there's two deacons left on the field. I still technically won. Granted, I lost four people in that fight. But, I still won the fight. Oh god, what's going to happen next? I'm guessing some form of cutscene. Ash, you're alive! My words exactly, Clint. Claymore and the other prisoners are free now. I know that low-class voice. Darius! Well, if it isn't old man Hobbs. Are you two friends? Hardly. We're simply from the same village. He was always slapping the other some piece of junk and making trouble. Look who's talking. This guy's famous for the time he was doing healing experiments in town. He accidentally turned the farmer's pig into a chicken. Will you burn down the schoolhouse? Ah, <laughs> uh, you guys, these two are gonna get along great. Come on, you two, cut it out already. Ah, uh, looks like our plan was a great success. But this is only the first step. Real war with the Empire starts from this point on. Chapter 3 and Escape to Tomorrow. What's Chapter 4 gonna hold? What is Chapter 4? I forgot I needed to press a button. News of the fall of the supposedly impregnable prison spreads quickly throughout all of its time and is a tremendous shock to the Imperial government, who believe themselves unassailable. Upon hearing this news, the resistance movement is revitalized. They begin staging large revolts throughout the land, and succeed in liberating the southern region. Ash and his companions hold a meeting with Clive Bennett, who is acting as a pipeline to the Resistance. So defeating the impregnable prison suddenly started the revolts to just skyrocket. Chapter 4, The Successor. Oh, this should be good. Press a button to continue.
to continue. There we go. So it's true, Daddy really is. Eleni, I'm... I'm alright, Ash. I was ready for it. Excuse me, I think I need some fresh air. I don't think the general made it out of the prison. Oh, that'll be along for a while. There are some things we need to face us by ourselves. I understand. Magic chair just pushes in behind him into his into a seat. Five, how goes the resistance movement? Very well, thanks to you people. The region of Istaria between the Tar, Tar River has been liberated. That's fantastic! That's, that's fantastic! I'm getting my voice to make sense. But the things, things are going to get much harder. The North has many strongholds which will now be heavily guarded. Also, the Empire is courting the support of the neighboring country of Urdu in exchange for granting them the southern region. If that happens, we'll be forced to fight on two fronts. We mustn't let that happen. So ba basically what you're telling me is that for a chunk of the land that we currently own, that the Rebellion currently owns, another nation might come in and fight us. That sounds fantastic. Totally ready for it. There's another issue which must be dealt with. The Empire is searching for the Royal Ring. If they find it, their power will be unstoppable. Go to Karachi. That, there's an informant there for you to meet. Find the Royal Ring before the Empire does. Karachi? Damn it! What's wrong, Diego? I'm trying. I keep forgetting I have to do Clint in a gravity voice like this. Oh, it's nothing. Totally nothing. More cutscene? More cutscene. Commander! Oh, oh, Ash. Why is there a chest here? I'm very scared with the fact that there's a chest here. Like, there's going to be a battle here. Leaving already? I'm going to meet with the rebel group in the east. I I'm afraid I've cursed you too, Clive. What are you talking about, Ash? This may or may not... This may not make any sense to you, but I feel like somehow my traitor's blood has doomed you all. The acorn never falls from the oak, they say. Ash. There's something very important that I need to tell you. So there you all are. Convenient interrupt of backstory in order to make more make it more tense. You were gonna leave without a word. I didn't want to disturb you, huh? Be careful, Commander. Thank you, Clint. Clive. Ash. Believe in yourself. Believe in your friends. You're no traitor. Yes, sir. No battle? Jeez, on, on, on the one hand, you make me think there's going to be a battle, and I'm prepared to have another fight there. But on the other hand, I saw a chest there, and now I don't get the chance to loot it to find out what it is. But that is all for now. So when we come back... We will go, probably since it's a new chapter, go to the store. Also, uh, let's quickly go to the dojo and check everybody's levels real quick. Advance, 
18, 17, 15, 18, 16, 16, 17. So it, people, some people are getting close, like Zohar and Sarah, but other than that, oh my god, Darius is going to be so behind. Wait, I can actually upgrade Darius. I actually don't remember what I wanted to upgrade him into, so I'm going to say no for now. Because I forget which one of the... Actually, who am I kidding? I know what. I know what it's going to be. I'm stupid. Let's do that real quick so that way I don't forget. Next video. Advance. Advance him into a Hawk Knight. What kind of tinkerer would he be if he didn't build jetpacks on his back? Grant the soul to wisdom power and surface mankind. And a new car. And giant jetpacks. <laughs> yep. That is exactly why I did it. Just gigantic jetpacks. Darius had advanced to class of Hawk Knight. Weapons and armor to match your new skills. Your old possessions will be sent to the supply wagon. Okay. I'm actually going to quickly save again so I keep that, but that is all for now. So until next time. See you later.